the Virgin Voyages Sailor app is available through the App Store on iOS and Google Play Store on Android. When launched, you are met with a spinning logo. The app is buggy, though. If you get an error or are stuck at this point, delete the app from your phone and reinstall it to fix the problem. On the main screen, you can see the countdown to your voyage, along with details of the voyage, and, most importantly, the tasks to complete before boarding. The remainder of the page includes articles of useful information to read through. The first item you should complete before sailing is the check-in and get ready to sail area. This part of the app features six to seven items to complete depending on your gender. The first item is to provide a security photo that will be used to identify you when boarding and departing the ship. This can be taken right on your phone through the app and submitted. The travel documents area allows you to scan your passport with the camera. This allows the information to be automatically entered into the form to help avoid typing. Areas that fail to scan or scan incorrectly can be manually completed. The Payment Method section collects your preferred onboard payment method And it also allows you to mark if you want others in your booking to be able to use it as well. The voyage contract then presents the traditional legal agreement that all guests must read and agree to. as well as the ability to sign on behalf of other sailors. Emergency contact does as it's called. It allows you to provide a name, relation, and phone number. As an emergency contact, the line can call if something were to happen. The final step is the step of board area. This is where you can select your boarding time at the start of the voyage, provide any flight information that can help the line in tracking you down if running late, and identify if others in your reservation should use the same details. The Activate the Band area then allows you to review the delivery address and make changes, if needed, for where your band should be mailed to prior to sailing. The Voyage Well area provides a COVID-specific health agreement that must be reviewed and signed before sailing.
In addition to your own paperwork, you can select any cabmate to view and complete their items for them as well. The Discover tab provides information and allows for purchasing of items. The lineup area, while clickable, is not available until 45 days from sailing for most guests, 60 days for those in Rockstar quarters. Similarly, the ship area provides bookings of activities that open closer to sailing. The ports area lists each port of the sailing. Clicking on one lists all of the excursions that are available for it. You can open up any excursion for additional details, highlights, and of course, the times that can be booked. There is also a guide provided for each port that provides a map, highlights the destination and excursions, as well as the most important item, the port emergency contact in case you are left behind. The Guides area provides a series of topic-specific articles to help you understand what to expect on board Scarlet Lady. The Services tab is primarily for use on board, offering access to ship eats for ordering food, as well as cabin services. It also has quick access to support contacts. The Messenger tab provides the notifications that have been sent through the app. as well as the ability to message other contacts while on board, whom can be added by scanning their QR code. You can opt to share your activities with any contacts and view theirs. The Me tab provides your personalized agenda of activities you've booked, a list of the items you've hearted to track throughout the app, as well as any add-ons you've purchased. There is also quick access to other areas of the app and reviewing of settings such as your payment method from the wallet. The settings gear manages your account and profile with Virgin Voyages. As well as the important switch voyage button if you have multiple voyages booked. Each one is listed out. And can be selected to load the app with that voyage's details.
As you approach the boarding day, more functionality opens up. The first major point should be at 45 days out for most sailors. Under the ship area, you'll find eateries. This takes you to the dining venues. By default, while on board it will show the current time, or in advance it will show the start of your voyage. You can change the date and time at the very top. It will then show reservation availability near that time with 15 minute interval. Selecting one opens up to select the people that are dining and let you adjust the time. You can then confirm the reservation and it will be added to your schedule. If you're looking to make a reservation for a particular venue, you can select that venue instead of an available time. At the top of the venues page is a find table button. That takes you to the reservation overlay that allows you to view days and times with availability. Select who you are reserving for and make your reservation. You're only allowed one reservation per venue. If you click to find a table at a venue you already booked, it will bring up the reservation panel, but will stop with a notice about already being booked. Instead, from the venues page, click the bar at the very top informing you of the details of your reservation. This will open a page with all the information of your reservation, including the option to cancel it at the very bottom, or edit it at the top. Clicking edit will load the reservation panel once more, but this time it will let you make a reservation that replaces the existing one, and will go through. Once your band arrives, or the day before your boarding, you will be prompted to activate your band. You can set up a pin that will be used whenever you make a purchase on board, and that is all that is required. Booking a show is only available once on board. From the lineup, you can select an event that requires a reservation. From its page, select Book. Pick the time and individuals attending, and complete the reservation just like with the dining. While on board, you may have your dining reservations done, but that same page and time selection will show you the venues currently open. You can click on a venue and view the hours that will be open for the entire sailing. When visiting a restaurant or bar, you don't need to use the app to access menus. Simply open the camera app on your phone, point it at a coaster, 
and you will see a box around the QR code that you can click on to take you to the menu in your web browser. On the first evening, you will be required to attend the muster drill. Unlike other ships though, it is much simpler on Virgin. You simply watch the video in your in-cabin TV or right on your phone in the app. When you launch the app during that time, you will not be able to navigate or do anything until you have completed the task. Right on the home page, you can click to play the video. Oh, hello. I didn't see you come in. Welcome aboard Virgin Voyages. Now, I've got some important safety information that I must tell you before we cruise. Ahoy, everybody! You better listen up and listen good. When you're on the sea, you better take it from me. You gotta know the safety rules. When you hear seven short and one long blast from the ship's horn, there's an emergency. There's been a real incident The alarm will keep blaring The crew will be wearing their life jackets To their emergency stations You'll be instructed to return to your cabin And get life jackets Warm clothes and medication the There's lights on the floor And escape route signage To guide you to your assembly station six and, seven. and there at your station You'll be accounted for by a marshal if the captain is hip to abandon ship, we'll guide you to the lifeboats. Now abandoning ship is so unlikely, you know, but you still gotta learn the rules and where to go. Now the golden rule before we carry on is always listen to the crew for emergency instructions. That's right, the crew know what to do. We're gonna set sail today, we're gonna sail away. Let's talk about life jackets just to shed some light Slip it over your head and pull the waist strap tight There's a light and a whistle, so in the water we can hear and see you If your life jacket's damaged, just tell a member of the crew Take some time to learn the layout of the ship Throwing objects overboard is strictly prohibited It's a no-no, emergency announcements will be loud and clear Signals, listen up, so stop and listen carefully, my dear. We got a full medical and emergency response team. If something goes wrong, they will quickly intervene. In an actual emergency, you can dial 911, but that's so unlikely. There's rocking to be done. We're gonna set sail today, we're gonna sail away. Someone falls into the sea. Shout person overboard and tell a crew member immediately. Three long blasts on the horn is the signal there's a person overboard. There's other alarm signals too. Only meant for the crew. So don't be alarmed. If you see fire or smoke, Evacuate the area and give the alarm button a poke Always get down low 
and fire doors don't lock. Just so you know. And sailors with disabilities, please register with Sailor Services to ensure that you are met by our passenger assist team to get all the help you need. And if there's any other issues, always tell a crew member. Do it! So when you hear the ship's alarm, seven short and one long blast, it's mandatory to go to your assembly station on either deck six or seven. There will be signs of crew members to lead you there. Elevators will be closed, so please use the stairs. Get tired, Solo! Forget to read your back of door cabin card for all your emergency information. Most emergencies don't require abandoning ship, and additional information is available through Sailor Services. And above all, always follow a crew member's directions. Happy and safe sailing. We're gonna set sail today. We're gonna sail away. You guys want to get a drink? Once the video completes, it will then show as completed and identify that you have accomplished what is required. You will still need to visit your muster station to check in there and be certified as meeting all the requirements, but you will now have access to the app once again. Each day of the voyage, when you open the app, you'll notice a new style as the main screen is taken over by that day's events. In addition to the top animation, it will feature a variety of relevant articles and other information for the day. This changes with each day as the voyage goes on. Ending with the final day when it is used to provide the information on how to debark the ship. Before getting off, you will want to download your purchase history. Visit the Me section and click on My Wallet. You can then see all of your transactions by date or sailor, along with the balance remaining or due at the very top. Clicking the download icon in the top right will convert the current view to a PDF. Using the Share button, you can message the file to someone or even save it to your phone's files. 